Hi, I'm International Grandmaster Ron W. Henley and welcome to OnlineChessLessons.net coverage of the 2012 World Chess Olympiad taking place in Istanbul, Turkey. The next game in our coverage features Grandmaster U.S. Superstar Hikaru Nakamura in his round two encounter with Grandmaster Malazoskis, uh, the U.S. managed to defeat Lithuania by a score of three and a half a half. However, Part of that score was due to Hikaru's perseverance. After 77 moves in a Sicilian defense that raged across the whole board, Hikaru with white has a queen ending, where many players would have been happy to just make a draw with white. We can see black appears to be, and in fact is, doing quite okay. He threatens to promote his pawn on g1. He also threatens to capture the white pawn on b4 with check. Hikaru plays queen c4 check check to the king and protecting his pawn on b4. After king e1, Hikaru advances his passed pawn, black gets a queen, and now Hikaru throws in a few che checks, maybe just to play with the guy's nerve a little bit, and goes ahead and gets his queen, and after queen check, cross check, a trade of queens, we now have a single queen ending again. And again, this is absolutely equal. Both sides have a passed pawn, and both passed pawns are way back on their respective fourth ranks. Dead, equal. Well, it's equal, but not dead. After queen d2 check, and for example right there, there's a chance for black to go wrong by interposing the queen. A lot of times weaker players rush to interpose queens, thinking that'll be an easy way to draw, but in this situation we can see the white pawn would be off to the races, the black pawn would be impeded by his own king. So Hikaru trying to milk every little possibility. Gives a few more checks, another check, another check, another check, and finally, black advances his pawn to the fifth rank. Hikaru advances his pawn to the fifth rank. Pretty exciting stuff. But you have to understand when you play these type of endgames, progress is measured in inches, one square at a time. And having the patience to play this type of endgame is why Hikaru is one of the top players in the world. Players like him, Magnus, years gone by, Karpov, had tremendous patience in these types of positions. Very happy to make very slow, gradual progress. So now Black unpins his pawn, getting ready to move further up the board. And Hikaru finds a very interesting idea. He brings his king over to blockade the enemy past pawn, as we will see. He lets the pawn advance, so now black's even the first one to get his pawn to the 6th rank, but Hikaru comes and now firmly blockades the pawn, and even threatens queen f3 check, prying the black king away from his pawn. However, the position is still quite equal. Black simply needs to realize what's involved and what's important here. He needs to play, for example, queen b4. And then on queen f3 check, again, what's important is for the king and queen to corral this white passed pawn and keep it under control, even if it means allowing white to capture your pawn with check, but you get your king across the DMZ zone and the pawn is under control. For example, b6, king c6, queen check, king b7, and we can see the white pawn is surrounded, will be captured, easy draw, no problema. Now, for example, instead of b6, let's say white had tried to play queen d3 check. Again, simply king c5 and the king and queen surround the pawn, easy draw. So after king e2 though, black chose queen c3. Still okay, not a mistake in and of itself. Queen check. But now Hikaru finds a way to make life a little bit interesting. He plays queen check, and for example, queen d6 check, and black interposes queen. For example, here it would be possible to go wrong if he played king c6. Queen c6 check could be unpleasant. So the point in such an ending is to try and constantly present problems. Make your opponent have to make tough decisions. 
and Hikaru does a fantastic job. So after queen d6, black interposes his queen again, hoping for a queen trade with an easy draw, but Hikaru plays queen b4 check. This is very nice as he puts his queen behind his passed pawn, and he also separates the black king away from his own passed pawn. After king f5, b6, we can now see the black passed pawn is firmly blocked by the white king, whereas meanwhile the white passed pawn is threatening to motor on up the board. Black plays queen h2 check, absolutely correct decision, sacrifices his pawn, realizes it can't advance anymore, and after king takes e3, should now play king e6. Again, remember we said it's important for the king and queen to corral and control the white passed pawn. For example, b7, then queen check, king up, queen check, king up, and now queen c7 check, and we can see the white king is unable to approach his pawn any closer, and after king d4, queen back d5 or f4 check, etc, etc. And so this would have been absolutely the correct drawing technique. Instead, after king takes on e3, queen g1 check proves to be the decisive mistake. King d3, and now Hikaru is able to eventually walk his king on up, where it joins his passed pawn and his queen. Now black gets the idea of king e6, but it's a little too late. A bit better was queen to g8 check, but as the computers say, it is mate in 41. And we have to take their word on this, because even back in the mid-90s, Bell Labs with Ken Thompson had already produced a, a CD-ROM that any position with five pieces or less, they had absolutely worked out to the finish. And so when the computer says here that it's mate in 41, it is mate in 41, no question about it. In the game, after king c4, king e6, Hikaru plays b7, and after queen f1 check, king c5, queen f8 check, king b5, white has a completely winning position. For example, black could try to blockade with queen b8, but then the winning technique is king c6, queen check, king over, and if queen d8, king a7, and the pawn will score pretty soon. Or, if queen b8, the winning technique is queen c4 check, and queen c7. If black tries to sneak in behind, queen check, followed by queening, pretty much takes care of business. So in the game, after king b5, black went in for queen f1 check. Let's take a look. One of the key things that Botvinnik in the 40s pointed out is that in queen endings, it's very important to have your king on the rank adjacent to the enemy king. And here's an example of that. Because if black tries to play queen e8 check, for example, the star move is king a5, the point being that on queen d8 check, you have queen b6 check. And of course, this type of cross check, this is a key thing to look for in these endgames. So going back, Black tried queen f1 check, and as we mentioned, the cross check. Bam! Hikaru interposes with cross check, forces the exchange of queens. Black actually resigned. Why? Because after queen c4, king c4, and we can see he pays the ultimate price for not having his king in the square of the pawn. So again, a very nice competitive achievement, earning a very important point, through superior in-game skill, tremendous performance by the American superstar Hikaru Nakamura. I'm Ron Henley. Thank you for joining us at OnlineChessLessons.net.